freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. We are in the yard right now, just walking to the truck as per usual. Uh, got my GoPros on me today, so there will be some proper some proper vlogging today, so don't worry. We are off to Glastonbury Festival. I'll show you what we got on the trailer. We got loaded yesterday, and uh, didn't have enough time to get it delivered yesterday. I think actually, the paperwork said it was delivered due tomorrow anyway, so. Hopefully we can get it off today. Uh, but yeah, we've got to go to a company called Speedy. Let me show you what we've got on board. Here we go. I was going to film yesterday, but I was in someone else's truck yesterday. And, uh, well, let's just say they got pictures in there of their wife they probably don't want seen everywhere. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, so these are what we are delivering. I don't know what you call them exactly. I guess stillages. They're like crates, metal crates. And... Uh, I'm going to assume that they're going to put stuff in them like metal pieces, maybe uh, some poles or the attachments for the Harris fencing, uh, stuff like that. So, yeah, that's what it's going to be uh, delivered today to Speedy, Speedy at Glastonbury Festival. 36 of them there is. Anyway, let's get the truck started and then we can make our way, set the GoPros up and we can get some footage on the road. Okay, here we are. We're on the road. We have dash cam footage. Dash cam. You guys, uh, you really don't like the dash cam. Well, you do like the dash cam, rather. So, <laughs> I was getting quite a lot of comments uh, on my last video about dash cam. We want dash cam. We want dash cam. Look, you got some dash cam, right? Chill out. Chill out. <laughs> um, yeah, no, sorry. I, I, it's not like I'm going to stop doing the dash cam footage completely. There will be footage. It just won't be every video. I like to mix things up a bit. There's something different. Anyway, today, in this video, there is dash cam footage. And I'm going to try and do as much uh, driving as possible so you can see what I can see. Uh, because uh, you like that. Personally, I I would have thought people would enjoy the load, personally. What I've got on, how I've strapped it up, how it comes off, how it goes on. The place I'm in. Uh, where I am, that sort of stuff, but um, there's, it looks like people want to see the driving as well, which is fair enough. So I'm going to show you the driving as well. Not a problem. We are, as I said earlier, heading to Glastonbury Festival, so um, yeah, going to be interesting. I have been to Glastonbury Festival quite a few times, delivering, and I think the last time I went, I got uh, I got <laughs> I got told to remove the video. Um, because it was a security breach. And I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever. So I removed the video. But now I'm in a different mindset. I've, I'm a more experienced driver. And I'm like, why is that a security risk? Like, you had 200,000 people over the bloody week. The last week that's just been. Each one of them's got a camera phone. And have recorded something at some stage. Is that not a security risk? Do you know what I mean? So... Yeah, anyway, we're going in. Well, I'm going to be careful what I film. I'm not going to film too much of the driving inside. Ah, uh, we've got an engine malfunction. It's telling me to stop. Okay, now it stopped. <laughs> that was different. Yeah, so we're going to, <laughs> we're going to go in. Um, we're not, I'm not going to do too much filming of driving inside because I think that was more what he was getting at where like fuel tanks were and stuff like that um because credit where credit was due that particular video that i got asked to take down i was delivering sort of more on the farm like where the animals are kept rather than in a field if that makes sense but we'll see when we get there i'm pretty sure this is probably going to come off 
uh, in the main sort of area of the delivery goods. So you sort of turn left into Redgate and then turn right, and then there's like a holding area there, from what I remember. And I got a funny feeling it's going to be coming off there, I think. The other thing is, I got no contact number, so sometimes they ask you to call your contact when you get there, and I've not got a contact number. So that could be interesting. No, that's nice. This bloke's just suddenly come to a stop. On quite a narrow road. Oh, there's a bloody lorry coming down. Oh, he's going now. I don't know, I think he was fiddling around with his mirror. Just uh, wasn't a great place to stop. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, we are about 10 minutes out now from Glastonbury Festival. Let's go. It's probably because they've just had the festival. Um, so it's probably going to be really dirty, I would imagine. Lots of tents set up and, and stuff like that. Be interesting to see if we get to see the Pyramid stage or any, or any other stages. Um, we have in the past, so it would be nice to see them again. It would be nice. Well, we cross that bridge when we get there. Barrel chicken, wow, wow. Uh, we are still behind this red truck, who I have a feeling is um, also going, whoa, that's fine. You just pull in front. Nice. <laughs> I've got a funny feeling the red truck's going to, um, to Glastonbury as well. Just a feeling, might be wrong, doesn't matter, but I think he is. He or she, don't be sexist, Luke. Right, we're turning right here, signs. Glassbury Festival drop-off. Yeah, we're not going to the drop-off. <laughs> we're going to the delivery area. Delivery, 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 delivery for Glastonbury. So you'd think I'd be picking up, wouldn't you? Not delivering. Hang on, 22nd, 23rd, 27th. It's 28th today, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Obviously this road was shut during the festival, presumably to let everyone get out, I would assume. Hang on, there's a sign here saying no right turn. Well, the truck's turn, turn right. I need to turn right because that's where I'm going. There's no other way there. Presumably it was when the road was closed because there's a road close sign there. But the road close sign's been taken down but the no right turn has not been taken down. And there's vehicles behind me also turning right as well. Never mind, never mind. We're HGV drivers. Oh, someone's at the door. We're HGV drivers, we always ignore signs. <laughs> Weight limit? Nah, don't worry about it. We need the access. So me and my wife, we went to London over the weekend. Um, well, actually, it was technically Thursday, Friday, not the weekend, but we saw the Only Fours and Horses play on, th uh, on Thursday, the musical. That was really good, actually. Really good. We're one of the youngest there, mind. <laughs> and then uh, Friday, we um, obviously spent the day in London as well and went to Leicester Square, Trafalgar Square, uh, Piccadilly. And then we, uh, on uh, Friday, saw Weezer, Fall Out Boy and Green Day. And I'm just telling you now, Green Day, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing live. I keep getting asked, what were they like? And like, the only word I can say is, amazing like just in awe it's spectacular there we go there's another one <laughs> it's just really good it was uh, a brilliant night it was just nice nice to spend time with my wife we, we, we never really had a honeymoon so it was kind of our little two-day honeymoon without the kids um so yeah but it's all good it's all it's all gravy baby it's just car on the road a little bit not really but i will give it some room yeah, this forest freight is definitely going to be going to the same place. Oh, there's a tent there. Oh yeah, there's loads of tents here. Loads of tents here. Yeah. Yeah, it's like there's some sort of event on or something. Oh, oh we've got people. We've got people. No left turn, delivery straight on. Oh, come on, mate. He's asking them. Yeah, delivery. Come on, mate. Go straight on. I mean, I suppose it's all right if you know. If you don't know, then you're going to get word. But yeah, you want the red gate, mate. 
he's definitely delivering to Glastonbury or collecting. One or the other. I mean, there was literally an AA sign there that said deliveries. This is the way to deliveries. Yeah, there's so many tents up. Like, not just by, by tents, I don't mean the cheap ones that you buy at Argos or whatever. I mean the proper deluxe glamping tents <laughs> that just lined up row after row. Like, yeah, the, like the proper glamping ones. We're only a mile away. Oh, this is a wide load coming down. Ah, he's not that wide. You don't need your beacons on. <laughs> it makes me laugh when people have their beacons. I used to be one of those guys, don't get me wrong. But it makes me laugh. You don't need your beacons on for that, mate. Your load was well within your trailer. <laughs> it's like um, when you see uh, like recovery trucks and they've got a car on them or a couple of cars on them. A bit like what Kev T drives, but Kev T don't do it. But they'll have beacons on. And they'll be like, oh, wee -woo, wee -woo, we've got cars. But you don't see proper car transporters that carry 11 or 12 cars there, do you? This makes me giggle. Makes me giggle. Right, you can get a bit narrow down here, especially when other trucks are coming up the other way. I'm actually a little bit surprised they make trucks come down here, to be honest. Yep, yeah, follow the AA signs, mate. Deliveries straight on. Glastonbury Festival. We want the Red Gate. Residents only left. No access to Glastonbury Festival. Yeah, this is the uh, the naughty left turn. Luckily, we got him in front, so he's kind of like my blocker. He's blocking the other side of the road, so I know I can just follow him straight round. Don't have to slow down. Oh, we've got a truck coming. Let's budge over. So I'm hoping that you are a little cut my words out. I'm hoping you're enjoying this driving. Normally I wouldn't um, start filming this early before getting to a site. Like I'd probably I would probably only just turn my cameras on now, do you know what I mean? Rather than the actual build up to get to where I'm going. Yep, that's tight. So uh, let me know if you like this. Filming from an earlier time. A lot of trucks down here. What are they doing? Like delivering to a festival or something? Jesus. Yeah, I had, I had a suspicion that this uh, this truck was delivering to where I'm delivering to. Just a suspicion. Anyway, we're turning left. Oh. Oh, it's different to what it was last time I come here. There's nothing on the right. Oh, that's because it's further on in. <laughs> Bow chicka wow wow. Ah, this is a social media free zone. Please do not post pictures or videos. literally says it right there cameras are going off i'm afraid i'll see you when we're tipped okay this is the part of the video where we talk about the essential new truckers handbook by malcolm green i promise you if you want to know anything regarding hgvs or, or working hours or anything like that then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it uh, and if you are already a hgv driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills the essential new truckers handbook by malcolm green link in the description down below go buy yourself a copy now so the situation is this, I'm filming in my truck because you can't stop me doing that. Ugh, I've been here about 10 minutes just waiting for someone to come and collect me. Um, I didn't have a contact number to begin with, but um, I've got hold of one, so I've given him a call. Scott's his name, not Scott Andrews. Um, so I'm just waiting for someone to come and collect me now. So they'll be coming from that direction, they'll come and collect me. And then um, we'll go on to wherever on site presumably to wherever we need to be so i'm just concentrating on other people going past 
But like, if we're if we're right next to a tent, like a, a stage, then that's going to be filmed by thousands of people. So why can't I film? Do you know what I mean? So we'll see. I'm not going to film in this area because it said no filming or photos in this area. If I'm on the farm somewhere, I won't do anything. But if I am right next to a stage, I'm going to get a cheeky video. Why wouldn't I? Yeah. Nah, I'm sorry, but there is absolutely no reason whatsoever why I can't record this angle. You can't see anything on the site other than the truck behind me and me taking off my straps. So, no filming on site? Yeah, we'll see about that. Nothing wrong with this. If anyone from Glastonbury is actually watching this. <laughs> I won't be taking this video down, don't even ask. <laughs> Again, not really showing much, just my load coming off. That's what they're using, that's where it's going. Yeah, you can't see anything else. Okay, okay I'm past, past the security, security gate, gate now, now, so, so I'm filming. filming. Never mind, never mind. Right, anyway, we're going to crack on to Tenbury. I shall see you when we get there. I'm, I am sorry that you didn't get to see too much in Glastonbury, but rules be rules. You know, I've got a little bit of me talking in there and showing the load off, but that's that's it. I can't really show you anything else because of security breaches, because Glastonbury are like that. <laughs> It's not the only place though, I think a lot of a lot of these festivals are put whacking signs up saying no photos, no videos, because obviously we're in a world of social media now and it's easily accessible by anybody, it's not just me, like I've been uploading videos for like six years on YouTube, but now it's like everyone's doing it, do you know what I mean? And it's not just YouTube, it's TikTok, TikTok's a big thing now, so they don't ask, probably what more in that to be honest, TikToks, but never mind. Never mind, anyway, I'm rambling on. <laughs> I'll see you when we are loaded at Tetbury. Right, we are Tetbury. We just went and got paperwork. Four load of pallets, baby. Four load of pallets. I love it when it's pallets. It's just easier, quicker. Getting lazy. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to drive on in now, go on the way bridge, get our weight, and then we'll uh, get loaded. Happy days. Right, we are loaded. We've got 22 pallets for Chichester. It's not going to the place I thought it might be going. In fact, I don't actually know the place, I don't think. I've had a quick Google, but uh, signal's not the best here, so I can't really see much. Um, but anyway, I put the postcode on the sat-nav. We might need to stop on the way down for a break. So when we stop, I'll have a look. But I've got a rough idea where it is. It's taking us into some sort of industrial estate. Just waiting for a thumbs up. Oh, paperwork might go flying. Yeah, it's going to a, uh, some sort of uh, industrial estate. We're going to Unit 37, so it's a big cluster of buildings. So we're going, we're going to that unit anyway, and then uh, if we don't stop for a break, we can just park up and have a wander. If we do stop for a break, then we can have a look exactly what unit it is, but I think we'll be all right. I think we get there without needing a break, and I think once we do get there, we'll probably find it anyway relatively easy. I hope. <laughs> oh, dearie, dearie, dearie. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to head there. We're going to be there for about two o'clock. I've got a feeling I'm be, I'll be on night out tonight. I don't actually know, but I've got a feeling I am. By the time this is tipped, it could be, could be three. I would have hoped it would be before three. Depends on where I'm going next, but... If it's more than an hour away, then uh, we won't be there before four o'clock. And most places don't load after four. Some are five. 
but again I don't know what we're doing after this so we will uh, cross the bridge when we get there as the saying is cross the bridge when we get there let's go left here got very 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 busy few weeks lined up so uh, this weekend actually I don't think I've got it <laughs> I don't think there's anything really planned this weekend, but Formula One is on, Silverstone. So I'm watching that. Oh, I bought I bought one of those squares that they wave during the <laughs> they wave at the end of the Grand Prix. Cost 250 quid, you get your name in a square. <laughs> I thought why not? So I've done that. Uh, Luke's seen H2O I've put, so a couple of weeks after the Grand Prix I should get uh, like a frame sent to me, a picture frame, with whoever won the race. Uh, so it says it on the bottom. And a picture of the flag being waved, and then a cutout of of my my section, my two hundred and fifty pound section. <laughs> this truck keeps beeping red, saying stop, and then it then it stops straight away. The beeping. It literally went in yesterday to be looked at for the same problem. Apparently, it was a Knox sensor. Don't know. Nothing wrong with the truck at the moment. We're still operational. We're still moving. <laughs> so yeah, Silverstone this weekend. Following weekend is. It's not technically my birthday because my birthday's during the week, next week. So happy birthday to me. By the time this comes out, uh, this weekend, uh, my birthday will be in a few days. The 6th of July. Remember that. The 6th of July. Oh, come on, bird. Get out of the road. Come on. Thank you. So, yeah, that weekend is my birthday weekend. But the following weekend is Castle Coombe JDM. Taking my car to a car show, Japanese show. Going in a group. With other, with other people there's 22 of us going in the FK crew the FK crew yeah <laughs> um, so it's full of FK2s and FK8s which are the 2015 onwards models um, mine's obviously a 2020 so it's an FK8 and then the one I was selling was an FK2 if you were interested so yeah 22 Type R's in convoy that'll be fun that's that weekend. Then it's the air tattoo at RAF Fairford the following weekend. And then the weekend after that, we're going to Disneyland. So me, me, uh, me, the wife and the girls, going to drive to France. Should be fun. So yeah, the next next sort of four weekends, the whole of July, every weekend, we are doing something, something planned. So yeah, busy, 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 busy. I need to start having a calendar, I think. Anyway, we're going to crack on. It's going to be mostly motorway, so uh, that's a bit boring. And I don't do time lapses anymore because far too many people do time lapses. And it's a bit samey, samey, isn't it? So, yes, I'll see you when we're a little bit closer to our destination in about two and a half hours or so. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, we are in Chichester, or around the corner at least. Anyway, we're about we're about two and a half miles away. We're not round the corner, round the corner. I'm just trying to start a little bit sooner so you can see a bit of driving before we... Uh... I'm not sure I understand. I wasn't talking to you. Stupid watch. <laughs> yeah, I just started, started filming a little bit sooner just so uh, you can see some driving. What we have to put up with. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, there's a car coming. Van not indicating, you're not indicating, so I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Don't know if you notice, I just just quickly double checked my left because we are cutting into the lane on the left a little bit. So I was just double checking there was no vehicle coming down. There wasn't. You've got to have eyes in the back of your head, you've got to look everywhere. Everywhere. Because of course, if I hit something or something hits me, even if something hits me, I'm at fault because I'm a lorry driver. The, the new rules. Lorry drivers are responsible for everything, apparently. Never mind. Anyway, so yeah, you join me. I think it's just taken a little bit over two and a half hours to get here. We are on currently four hours, 17 minutes of driving time, which means we've got 13 minutes left, but we are only six minutes away. So we are going to be able to get there and get tipped, and then we're going to have a break outside. That's what we're going to do have a 30 minute break still don't know what we're doing after this however would not be surprised if we're going to Shoreham was it Shoreham? 
I think it's Shoreham. Shoreham on the sea. There's some wood. wood and we get wood there. <laughs> we, we get wood. We get some wood from there, from the docks. Is it Shoreham? Can't remember. There's another place that starts with S. Sheerness. Yeah, it's Shore, Shoreham. I keep, I keep getting Shoreham docks and Sheerness docks mixed up. Shoreham is close by. I say close by, it's about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. So by the time we get our break in, so we're going to be here at two o'clock. Say, say it takes an hour. Hopefully, it will take less than an hour. Then we get a break in. It's half past three. Uh, Forty-five minutes means it's going to be like quarter past four. So, like I said earlier, not many pages, not many places load after four o'clock. So it could be a rush to get there. But we will see what happens. Maybe they tip us quite quick. Um, or maybe I can get the straps off and then have a break while they tip me, which is allowed. I hate it when people say it's not allowed. It is allowed if you're not doing anything. If I'm out there helping or getting paperwork signed or whatever, then yeah, fair enough. But what I normally do is I give them the paperwork first and be like, right, if you sign that, when you're done, I can go. That's what I normally do. But on this occasion, I'd just be like, sign that. When you're done and I finish my break, I'll leave. Jump in the truck after I've done all the straps and... Have a, have a break like, do you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, a lot of people say it's, it's, it is a bit of a grey area because I'm in the truck, but the way I see it is I'm doing with time as I see fit, do you know what I mean? As I want to do. So if I'm laid on the bed <laughs> playing a game on my phone or whatever, then that's me doing what I want to do, having a break, relaxing. So, anyway, I'm going on a bit of a ramble. Um, We'll see what the, uh, what the yard is like. It might be one of those yards where I need to move over to do one side, then move over to do the other side, in which case I won't be able to get a break in anyway because I'll have to move, so. We will see. Still a mile away, come on. Traffic. <laughs> see, this is um, one of the reasons why I don't include much driving in my videos recently because, for me, don't get me wrong, I love driving, but... It's boring when you just sat in traffic like this. But if you guys like it, then so be it. Oh, I don't know if I said so. <laughs> I bought online through Ray-Ban a, uh, a pair of Ray-Ban stories. They are camera glasses with cameras in. I thought, oh yeah, they'd be good. I've been looking at them for a while and I thought, nah, they're not, they're not gonna do me because the aspect ratio is rubbish. Basically, it records in a square, essentially, rather than what you're seeing now, which is like a rectangle sort of shape. Um, otherwise known as 16 by 9. It records like 4 by 3 or something. So a square. Anyway, I was like, nah, don't want it because it's going to be a square. But I thought, Do you know what? Yeah, I can get around it. I can put some blurry bits around the edge or I can blow it up. Whatever. It'll be all right. So I bought them. I bought the glasses. They're 330 quid. Got them in blue. I was like, yeah, that'd be nice bought them yesterday and then yesterday evening I was watching some videos and apparently it only records for 30 seconds at a time or you can extend it to 60 seconds but that's it no more than 60 seconds I'm like what I can't be dealing with pressing buttons to press and record while I'm maneuvering and stuff because that's why I bought them I thought they'd be good for like POV you can see what I can see in my mirrors while I'm driving or maybe it can be in the top corner right now whilst I'm driving so you can see what I can see and in that aspect actually it'd be quite cool but I don't know if it's only 30 seconds long I don't think it's going to be very good anyway I've cancelled the order but they've sent them out anyway so they are actually on their way so I am in two minds do I keep them knowing full well that they only record for 30 seconds or do I send them back that is that is the question right we want to be going down there we want to be going down there Sat now is taking me straight over, but we want to go down there. Rebuild. Unit 37. It was 37, wasn't it? Yeah, unit 37. Ha! Oh, good wood. Festival of speed. Down here. Uh, I've always wanted to go to Festival of Speed, but I've never been. Maybe next year. I was going to go... Uh, this weekend just gone, but obviously me and the wife just got back from London, and then we decided to chill, chill for the weekend. And also there were no tickets left. On by the time we decided we were we were interested in going, there was no tickets other than VIP. 
it was like a grand or something. And we're like, nah, it's gonna. We're gonna. We're going to Formula One next year, and that's gonna cost a lot of money. Come on, them. Bow, 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 chicka, wow, wow, wow. Oh, come on, go, 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 go. You can beat the lorry. Yeah, that's it. Go, go. Not you, Van. Oh, Jesus. I thought the van was going to go then. Okay, go, 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 go. I once hit a car. <laughs> um, I don't know if I've ever told this story. I actually got done for driving with no insurance. I was 18, 19 years old, something like that. I was at a roundabout. I was with, with my wife, my current wife. I say current wife like I've had more than one. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to start calling her that, my current wife. Anyway, I was with my, my wife that I'm with now, but she wasn't my wife at the time. We went on holiday. Uh, yeah, long story short, she had a miscarriage, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to get into it. But she was upset, so I drove. Um, I knew how to drive. Obviously, I had a licence, but I wasn't sure to drive a car. And we got, we got to a roundabout, and um, I was focusing too much on the traffic coming around the roundabout that I knew there was a gap for any cars in front to go and me, but the car in front didn't go, so I, yeah, hit it. Hit the car. I got six points on my licence for that. Obviously, they cleared off ages ago now, but, yeah. Bit annoying. Anyway, <laughs> there's story time for you. Story time. Right, Unit 37. Unit 37. Let's look at this sign. Why would you put white text on orange? Unit 37. I don't see Unit 37, can you see that? Just looking at this. K37, oh there it is. The three blocks on the right hand side is the first block, the second one up from the bottom. I see it, cool. So it's the second to last left turn. Second to last left turn. Unit 37. There's 35. How am I going to get a lorry in here? Is it in there? No. Well, I can have a break out here. There's loads of room. Double yellows, but there's loads of room. It must be down. It must be this left here then. Yeah, that's it, 37. Jesus, where are they, where are they going to offload me then? There's not a lot of room, yeah? Okay, I need to go, I need to go find somewhere. Well, I don't know if you can quite see, but they expect me to go down there by the looks of it. Ha! Huh. We're going to see someone. i got a funny feeling they're going to tell me I'm in the wrong place or something. Even though this is where the postcode brings me. Right, I've seen a bit. Right. Yeah, they want us to back it in, so it's going to be... This is tight, actually. This is going to be a tight blindside reverse in. Is that a van coming down? No. Yeah, come on, mate. The van's waiting to come out. Ugh. Need to adjust my mirrors. We're literally just missing a load of plant. <laughs> Keep the lock on here. Can we do that in one go? 
Oh, I think we just did it in one go. Now we've got to take a shunt. Don't be a... Uh, take a shunt. I'll let you figure out what that is. Thank you. <laughs> Is that right? Right. Let's go take the straps off. There we go, a 90 degree turn in. You can see my tire marks up. <laughs> so I deliberately got the back wheels literally just to miss the shrubs. So I get in. Because trouble is, by the time you get around here, your back end's getting close to cars. So, yeah. So I did 90 degree. Blind side turn, lovely jubbly. What we'll do is we'll come out of here in a minute, head down there, and we'll probably just stop on the left here and have a break. And uh, yeah, straps are completely off. And uh, as I said, it's one of those places where we've got to move over to do the other side. So they're doing one side now, I'll then move over, and they come around and do this side, then we can go. Right, we've moved over since you last saw me. That's the last one come off now, I believe. I believe. Yeah, that's the last one. So we're just making paperwork now. Cheers, mate. Hey, mate. Lovely, thank you. Cheers, sir. Right, paperwork we have unloaded. We are.
and I will see you soon. Bye bye. I'll put some glasses in because it's quite, quite bright. <laughs>